Okay, hi guys and welcome to my review of Brink for the Xbox 360. So Brink's just come out, it's a game by Splash Damage. Uh, I think they created some Wolfenstein enemy territories, um, something, I don't know, you, I can't quite remember. Um, the game's been getting quite a few mixed reviews on the internet. Uh, IGN gives it, I think it's a 6, whereas uh, Eurogamer gives it an 8. So, there's there's lots of mixed uh, opinions on the game. And, you know, it's, it's disappointing, I was disappointed when I saw them. But, I think when when you play it, you understand why there's, there's all the mixed reviews. Uh, I know, certainly as I'm playing it now, uh, you know, I, I keep going between, well, it's good and it's bad and it's good and it's bad. And I think this is, uh, I think one of the problems is people are comparing it to Call of Duty. Inevitable, I think. Um, but I think the other problem they have is uh, splash damage. They've done a good job with it and it is a good game, but... I think they've also overlooked and underestimated quite a few things players are expecting in games now. Um, the uh, I'll, I'll try and think of an example. Um, I mean the guns they work out fairly well, but they it, it's a bit hard to think of. I'm sure I'll think of one thing. Uh, I'll think of a few, but it's a, it's hard to uh, to think of it. It's just this feeling you get when you play the game. Parts of it don't seem finished. Parts of it don't seem complete. And um, for example, they've got all this thing where you can customize your weapons. But then you can't put a, a different colours on them. And yeah, sure, sure, it's an aesthetic thing, I know. It, it doesn't make much difference. But, you know, I, I really like being able to change the colour of your weapon. <laughs> Sounds stupid, doesn't it? But it, it's it's these little things they've missed out. And that's... um. It, it just makes the game feel a bit, you know, incomplete. But they, they have, they've kept missing stuff out of it. Um, so I'm sure you've, you've read, there's quite a few problems with it as well. For example, online, it can uh, get quite a bit of lag. Um, especially the Xbox 360 version, that, that's quite prone to lag. Uh, some games won't have it in, but then others will. And um, So, the, the games they play out alright, but the missions get a bit repetitive, really, if I'm being honest. Um, The missions get very repetitive. Uh, everything always happens exactly the same. There's all these choke points, and it's it's not necessarily bad. It's it's just different, and I think that that's the problem with Brink is it's different. And you know, I've I've met people and they they really enjoy it. And I've met people and they don't like it. And uh, I'm, I don't know where I am with this actually. It's, it's really weird. It's good, but bad. And, you know, it's enjoyable to play. But I guess what I'm saying is, would I pay full price for drink? Probably not. You know. It's one of these games where if you see it for £20 or so, you know, pick it up, but 
full price, it's, it's probably not worth it, you know. Um, I think Brinks, Brinks got some good ideas and they'll definitely come through. Uh, it kind of feels a bit of a short game as well though. Uh, you only have, I think it's eight missions, you only have eight missions for each side. And uh, you don't even actually have that because you only have eight missions but then you play it from either the security or the resistance point of view. So, you know, it's really only those eight missions. Uh, the storyline is really horrible. I, I can't make out what's going on at all. The cutscenes, uh, they don't they don't give anything, they're really hard to follow. Uh, they're very confusing indeed. Um, overall, uh, players, player wise, players I've met on here, there, there doesn't seem to be any cheating or hacking. Uh, people are, are usually working as a team and it works out quite well that way. If I had to compare it to a game uh, already established, I'd say uh, imagine Battlefield uh, mixed with Mirror's Edge. Um, and uh, th this is going to take a while, uh, I don't know how long I've been going on at this for. Um, but I'll, I'll just take you out and show some of the menus. So you get XP for everything you do and you can make your own character. Uh, so you can change the appearance of him, you know, so and you unlock new stuff as well as you, you do certain stuff. Um, so if you complete challenges or uh, you know as you level up you'll get more um, items of clothing or different tattoos. Uh, you have to unlock extra weapons by doing challenges. Um, so I've finished all the challenges. Um, they're, they're not too hard the challenges and I guess they're, they're a good way of getting you into the game, getting used to all the controls and that. Uh, the actual weapons themselves, as you can see, I, I've modified this one. Um, and so, for example, I don't like the magazine, the drum bow magazine. I put it on but it's just not doing anything at all. So I'll put a high capacity one on instead. and. Uh, you know, I've got the silencer as well on it. Um, so the the one thing you can't do either, though, which I'm disappointed about because I'd have thought you could. Uh, you can't choose the different uh a different colour for your gun. Um, you can flick between resistance and uh, security, but uh only the security you know, textual show up when you're playing security. Um, but I'll just go back into appearance. So, for example, um, the hat. You can only choose from predefined colours, and it's really disappointing. You know, other games let you choose all the hues and that, and when they were advertising the game, it certainly made it look like you'd be able to do that. But you can't which it, it's very annoying, very disappointing actually. Um, so overall I'd say Brink's an interesting game. Is it a good one? Maybe not. Is it a terrible one? No, I don't know. It's, it's an interesting game to play. I don't think Brink's ever going to become your favourite game. I think if you play Modern Warfare, I think you're, you're going to... You know, if you play Call of Duty, then you play Brink, you're going to go back to Call of Duty, but you'll enjoy playing Brink. It's, it's got a nice feel to it, a nice look. You know, it's... 
it just feels so incomplete and so empty. For example, you know, you have you have the missions and they're they're all exactly the same more or less. Um would I so what I'd say I don't know if there's a demo out, I don't think there is. If there's a demo definitely play the demo because you'll uh, you'll feel about what you'll you'll see the feeling that I'm saying about. Um but for, yeah, it's it's good. Add buy it if you see it at about half price. But uh, I wouldn't pay full price for it because it it just feels empty. It feels like there's so much missing. <laughs>